Sadhguru, if the creation is perfect and the Creator has done such a good job on us, as you say, why is there so much suffering in the world? <laughs> Why do we need to depend on somebody's compassion to exist here? So, if Creator had done a good, good job on us, <laughs> why, <laughs> why there is so much suffering in the world? Why we need to depend on other people's compassion? and understanding to exist here. <clears throat> this is like, it happened once. A little boy came home with a ten dollar bill at Luke in Ohio. <laughs> A little boy, little boy came home with a ten dollar bill. His mother asked, he said, I found it. His mother asked, Luke, did you really find it? Are you sure? He said, sure ma'am, I even saw the man looking for it. Why there's so much misery? If this is a perfect job, it's such a perfect job that it gives you the opportunity to be whichever way you wish to be. If creation had not given you the necessary opportunity to be what you wish to be, then there would be no possibilities, isn't it? then there would be no such thing as liberation. So why create a bondage and then liberation? Why couldn't you be liberated? Then there would be no creation. Only because there is creation, now the possibility of going beyond that. Now. In animal nature and in other forms of life that you see around you, every kind, there is not much possibility. The possibility is just to survive, procreate, carry on with life and die one day. Because there is not much possibility, there is not much misery either. You don't see other creatures of the planet suffering like human beings. Their suffering is purely physical. If they are physically harmed, they are in pain. Even in pain, they do not know the kind of suffering that a human being knows. Human being knows this suffering not because creation gave this suffering to you, creation just gave you the freedom to make whatever you wish to out of yourself. You're making suffering out of yourself or a large population of the world has decided to make su suffering out of themselves. That is their choice. Physical realities sometimes are comfortable, sometimes are not comfortable. That is so. We have given, been given the necessary intelligence to create necessary comfort for ourselves, that's not an issue really. If we have no problems with each other, creating comfort for all the population in the world is not a problem. It's not at all a big problem really. Simply because we have inner problems, simply because this freedom which should have been a benediction has become a curse upon humanity. Right now, what human beings are suffering is not their bondage, they are suffering their freedom. 
if you suffer your bondage, it's all right. But if you suffer your freedom, that's tragedy. Right now, human beings are unfortunately suffering their freedom. This moment, you can make anything out of yourself. You can make joy out of yourself, you can make suffering out of yourself. What to do if fifty percent of the people or ninety percent of the people are choosing to make misery out of themselves? <laughs> That's not creation's fault. Just gave you the freedom so that you could go beyond. Once you have come as human, you are not trapped anymore. Other creatures are trapped in their own instincts. Beyond that they cannot think. You have instincts for survival, but still you have the possibility of going beyond these instincts. If you don't choose to go beyond, that means still enough suffering has not touched you <laughs> because it's unfortunate in the world that very few people transcend out of their intelligence. Most people have to be thrashed by life, only then they will transcend. Only then they will think of going beyond, otherwise no. I don't know if you're aware of this Luke, you came early, but in India, if you <laughs> if you tell somebody <laughs> that I'm living in an ashram, they will ask you, why, what, what went wrong, what happened to your life? So they believe only after something really goes wrong, you'll go to the ashram, okay? <laughs> because most people's intelligence is such, because they kept their brains in cold storage, they think they're going to use it in future. <laughs> so, <laughs> they can only seek anything beyond when something really goes wrong with their life. Till then, even if something really goes wrong, they will only pray for a better life next time. Now, you don't have to depend on anybody's compassion or understanding. The whole world can live under the umbrella of your compassion and your understanding. I would like to see that you stand up that way, that the world lives under your compassion and understanding. You don't live in other people's compassion and understanding. If you have any dignity, that's, not, that's how you should live, isn't it? Isn't it so?